Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about something that you should do after every major update, or at least after every three or four monthly updates, because every single time that your phone goes through an update, it's a monthly security patch. But basically, it's storing some of that cache after all these updates and then it's not really getting rid of. So what happens is it kind of bogs down the phone. It may cause problems or issues. If you notice your phone is slowing down after a couple months, all you have to do is do this one thing, which is clearing the cache partition. Now, let me give you an example first before we do it, because some people may have questions or wondering what all it really does. So first off, let's talk about the camera. Let's say that you run into a problem with your camera. All you have to do is go inside of this little information tab right here. This is the app info and through here, and you can do this with any other application. You just go inside of storage and you clear the cache and you can clear the data. Now, all it's doing is it's not getting rid of the application. It's not getting rid of any of your images. It's not doing any of that stuff. It's getting rid of your personal choices that you made when you go inside of the application. So mine is set up as a nine by 16. Yours might be a three by four. I think out of the box, it's set up as a three by four. And then also too down here, uh, if you moved any of these shooting modes, then it's going to go back to the original you know, right out of the box. Maybe you went inside of the settings and you made it to where you wanted to save the last mode that you're using. So if I was in portrait right now, and then let's say that I get out of portrait or I get out of the camera, when I go back inside, if I had that setting turned on, it'd go right back to portrait instead of photo. So you are setting up different designations, different settings for all these applications, and it's just storing it. That is all what cache is. So even if you have a problem with your gallery app, maybe for some reason it doesn't want to open or it crashes, you can clear the cache and clear the data and you're not getting rid of any of your photos. So that's kind of where this comes into play. The first thing that you want to do is you just want to turn off your device. And then once you turn off the device, you're going to do the pretty much opposite of a screenshot. A screenshot is the side key and volume down. So what you're going to do here is you're going to press and hold on the volume up and the side key at the same time as the device is off. And then as it powers on, that is where you're able to uh, remove your fingers. So I'm holding on the side key and the volume up. And basically I'm waiting for this screen right here, which is the Samsung Galaxy screen. Then you can let go and it's going to go inside of this little bootloader Android reco uh, recovery screen. Now through here, you can just simply reboot your system. So that just means you're going to restart it and it's going to come right back on. Now how you're able to go through this menu is with the volume keys. This is just up, this is down. You can just choose whatever you want and then you select the option with your side key. So the one that you're looking for is right here, wipe cache partition. Uh, you can even, you know, do a data factory data reset through here if you'd like. There's a few other things, but this video specifically is for uh, wiping cache partition if you find your phone to be a little sluggish or slow or having issues after updates. Every single time that your phone is going through an update, it's still storing some of the old cache from before. It's not getting rid of it. And so you're basically stacking up all this cache. You're stacking up all of this data that is just kind of stuck in the abyss. And so now you're able to actually wipe it out. Now, I do suggest it after the last update that we just got done doing because this one was 2.2 gigs, which is fairly large for a monthly update. It brought in a lot of really cool features to the Galaxy S23 series. Now, if you do uh, an update and it's only 200 megabytes, then the next month it's 150 megabytes and then maybe 250 and then 300 megabytes. After those four months, you might want to go through and wipe those out and kind of start fresh. And so right here, all you have to do is it's asking you, do you still want to do the wipe cache partition? Yes or no. You sw uh, swipe down to the yes with the volume. Then you hit on the side key button. Now, once that's done, it just wiped the cache partition and now you just reboot the system now and that is it. Then it's just gonna go through the whole startup process. You put in your pin or password to get into your phone. If you use secure folder, you gotta put in your pin for the secure folder again, so it's able to unlock. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for today's video. If you run into problems with your device, this is one of the first things that you can do that you're able to kind of reset the phone a little bit, getting rid of some of that cache, just storage sitting there that's old, doesn't need to be there, causing problems. If you run into app specific problems, so every time you run into a problem with maybe the camera or Facebook or whatever it may be, all you have to do is clear the cache, clear the, the data, or just uninstall it and reinstall it. But if it's a specific app on Samsung that you can't disable and you can't you know, delete, just clear the cache, clear the data, and you're going to be perfectly fine to go. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got I want in how I want it leave you with the one in the air